Hi everyone, this is Krishna Gupta. Welcome you all in your study group and computer fundamental series on DBMS. So, start with MySQL Workbench. In this video, you will learn how to import an Excel file or CSV file in MySQL Workbench. So, let's start. So, first of all, you have to start with the Excel. So, Excel convert it into the CSV file. Now, how to import it into the MySQL Workbench. So, let's start. First, open a folder. I have this file, CS, uh, Excel file. Just click on this. Go to File. Click on Save As. Select any folder where you want to save your file. I have selected Data. Just click on Save As Type. There are so many options, but I have select CSV comma delimited and now save it. I want to replace it because I have already CSV file. So just replace it. Now close it. Close it. Now start MySQL Workbench. Just click on MySQL Workbench. Click on this local instance MySQL L80. It will start. This is MySQL Workbench environment. This is a schema. This is information about a schema and administrations. This is the output environment. There we have some files like this. So, how to import a file into it? So just click, right click, just right click on any folder, create a schema. This is the way to create a new schema and another way is just click on this icon. This is create a new schema in the data ways. So I will start by the name. Just give a name to create a new schema. I want to create a data set. I will give the name new schema. Apply. This is new schema. This is the name of a schema. Apply. Finish. Now refresh it. I have a new schema. This is a new schema. Just click on tables. Right click on this table. And click on table data import wizard. Browse where you have your data. Just click on desktop. I have data folder. Just click on property price. Just open it. Next. If you have any table existing, drop table if exist. Otherwise, you create a new table. Just click on next. There are so many columns. Source column ID, remodel year, roof design. These all are the column names. And these all are the field type. It will extract it from the Excel file. Just apply on next. Just click on next. Data imported. It's finished. Click on next. Just finish. And now how to check it? Just click on schema refresh button. In this table, we have property price table. So this is the schema table. Now how to check it? The table is imported or not? Just click on this icon. This is the table icon and click on it. This is the table. This is the command to get the table or fetch the table, insert a table. Select extract from new schema dot property price. This is the table name. This is the data set name, database name. And 
stars uh, represent the complete information you have if you want selected field then click on it remove it id comma remodel year so and click on it control enter just you have these two columns only so this is the my sql workbench and how to import data and how to import excel or csv file into the my sql workbench so thank you thanks for watching